The main suspect in the disappearance of the Sydney woman Trudy Adams has denied having any involvement in the case. John Anderson, also known as Neville Tween, said he had nothing to do with a series of rapes on the northern beaches in the 1970s. The police say he's a convicted sex offender and was out of jail at the time of the offences. In the second week of an inquest into his daughter's disappearance, Charles Adams came face to face with the man police believe is responsible. Asked about police suspicions linking him to Trudy Adams, John Anderson said, there's nothing for them to charge me with, it's all speculation. Trudy Adams was 18 when she vanished after leaving a dance at the Newport Surf Lifesaving Club in June 1978. Her then boyfriend Steve Norris saw her accepting a ride from someone driving a Holden panel van. Counsel assisting the coroner, Peter Hamill, questioned Anderson about his string of abductions and rapes in the area. Asked if he had access to handcuffs and firearms at the time, he said, anyone can get access to these things, guns are easy to get. The inquest was abruptly adjourned at one point when John Anderson refused to answer questions. The coroner fired back, I don't care how long it takes, I'm not going to be made a fool of. John Anderson eventually returned to the stand. The inquest has heard he and another man were jailed in 1975 for terrorising a young man in bushland at gunpoint. The victim was forced to perform sex acts in women's clothing and dig his own grave. Police say the timing of the other sex offences corresponded with Anderson's time out of prison. Has he got something to hide? Yeah, I think his evidence speaks for itself. The inquest continues. Carl Herr, ABC News.